scars on my head where I was assaulted in a political assault, which you didn't cover funnily enough at the time. If you had maybe further episodes of political violence, it might not have happened. So look, if you've come here to insult me or put me on trial, first I've got a thuggish campaign, then my posters are dictatorial. They haven't. I don't believe anyone's brought up about our posters. It's an election. We're fighting a fun election. You seem to, to be having fun, but you've got your agenda already on your notebook before you actually experience anything. Yeah. There's no agenda. I'm just answering these questions. I think your viewers have already uh, discerned what your agenda is. You asked me three questions about Jeremy Corbyn. What's he got to do with this? I'm really offended by that dictatorial comment. I really am. We have banners okay. and posters. Like, it's okay to be offended, right? Or, like, sorry, is this a woke? Is this a bit woke, Chris? You can't be offended. No. Uh, the point is, you've got a Channel 4 news program. And you've got an agenda. It's written all over your face. It's written in every question you've asked me so far. Why is it written on my face? Trust me. Here, here. Trust me. I just... Anyway, if you've got any serious questions, let's I do have some serious questions. We're doing reports um, of uh, campaign messages being circulated about him, led being said that are homophobic, uh, that are suggesting to people that they shouldn't vote for him because of his sexuality. Would you like to condemn well, again, I have got no evidence of that, but if there are such messages, they didn't come from me or my, or my campaign. I didn't even know that she was a lesbian until it was written in the newspapers. I'm utterly uninterested in her sex life, trust me. Uh, we're fighting here to win votes from all parts of the community. Labour are losing, so they are hurling these, frankly, Islamophobic slurs at a whole community of 25,000 people. One of my most what prominent, Islam one of my, slurs? it's Islamophobic to imply that the people who live around here are not voting Labour because the Labour candidate is a lesbian. That is Islamophobic. It's not true. There is no evidence of it. Well, well I, I'm telling you, I, I haven't seen these messages and I did not know her sexuality until I read it in the mail on Sunday. Okay. So it's not Islamophobic? It is. In fact, it's been described as an Islamophobic term by Labour Muslims, by the Labour Muslim network. It's been condemned as unacceptable by the deputy leader of the Labour Party. 
people are, because Muslim voters are turning away from labor, being routinely uh, insulted and smeared. And I really don't like it. Well, let me ask you this question. Um, as No basis for saying that. I don't know when you arrived here, but if you'd arrived here earlier, you would see me on almost 100% white working class. It's just not okay. your, your thesis is false. Well, let me put it this way then. You are winning over many Muslim voters. Yeah, for sure. Why is that? Because of 50 years of work defending Muslims from unfair attack, slander, smear, and because of my work on Kashmir, on Palestine, against uh, Prime Minister Modi's oppression of Indians in Gujarat, I didn't come here yesterday, I didn't run politics in the general. Social media, YouTube, provides evidence of decades of my work on issues that matter. But the thing that I'm interested people. in is how does this, this differentiate you from the Labour Party because they have stuck up over decades well, for the, the Muslim well, 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 community. Ask the voters that. Well, why are you asking well, you're, me? You're standing against the Labour Party, yeah, so I'm trying to figure I'm, I'm out why... I'm standing against all the but parties. But you used to be a Labour MP, so it's an you're obvious You're asking question. me why Muslims are turning to me. Why don't you ask them? Well, I, that's the point but, of it. I, I, we will be asking, I don't know. We will be asking I don't voters know. Well, you've already that. made a false assertion that I'm mainly getting votes from Muslims. That's completely false. We'll and you see. have no basis for saying it. Okay, we'll see on politics. Um, so, you're saying that you're winning Again, how many of these? You don't even know what I'm not an in, you're not my interrogator. I'm you're not saying. my judge. Do you want to know about the issues in this election, or are you going to put a series of slurs and smears to me? It's just what people here have been saying to us that they can't speak to you about. So we're doing it on their behalf. That's, oh yeah, that's public what, service and all that. Yeah, public service and all that. It's public service oh, yeah. and all that. Right. Um, They said I don't really have much ideology. That's quite an interesting question to come up from the streets of Batman. I don't have much ideology. My ideology has been in front of the people for half a century. The suggestion was that you um, are a political opportunist well, and that you take moments like this to push yourself into the limelight. To project, you to, asked to me for this yourself. interview. I did not ask you for this interview. You asked you this is a ask, normal political look, interview. We've put these I'm not people, pushing myself into difficult. your limelight. We you put, brought your limelight we, to me. You're pushing yourself into the limelight by being a by-election candidate. Well, but I didn't ask for this limelight. You, you agreed to it. You pleaded. Didn't. You pleaded for this you limelight. Put difficult questions to every party. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yes, I wish do. that you did. This, the opportunist was the previous MP who left the people here in the lurch and doubled her wages by going on to what she imagines to be a better job. We've only got a by-election here because the Labour MP resigned. And what did you want? Nobody to turn up to oppose them? That's all I'm doing. I'm exercising my democratic right to stand in an election. I did not ask you to come on this bus. You pleaded to come on this bus. I'm not, see I'm not seeking publicity from Channel 4 News. You're seeking to interview me. But all you've done so far is actually put a series of baseless, evidence-free slurs to me. Well, you say, you say that they, you say that, you say that they said them to you. I, I, they haven't said them to me, and I have no evidence of what you're saying. You said we were thuggish. Give me some evidence. It's just a discussion that we're having. No, it's not a very nice discussion. It's very, very, it's very, very far. It's very, very far from proper journalistic practice. But that's what I expect from journalists. Perhaps I should have been to it in person. Do you want any real questions? I think I would, yes. 
That's six in a row. Six slurs in a row. Do you want to know anything about what's happening here? Uh, we're here to find out what's happening here. We've been speaking to a lot of different people and we think these are the issues that they would want us to put to you on their behalf. When, people, being personal, when, people, when people say to me, this man is intimidating me in this violence. Have you got someone on camera saying that? The viewers are saying kick him off. Even by channel four standards, that was a poor interview. Good afternoon. 